guys, Mike is back with another video. Today we're doing the next experiment. We have a Polk Audio XT20 monitor series bookshelf speakers. I did a different video with the Sony. If you didn't watch my other videos, watch it. I'm doing comparison with these speakers, multiple different amplifiers. Today we have a really B50 AC. Uh, this is a budget version of the, the bigger acrylic. It's gonna be exactly the same thing, just they remove uh, HDMI, ARC, and they just keep like a DAC system, USB and optic and line inputs. Of course, you have a Bluetooth also. I did a detailed review about this uh, really amplifier and it's came up very good. Only the amplifier it's offering with the applications is nice remote control with a lot of functionalities with the remote controls, right? We're gonna go through and we're gonna play a lot of music and we're gonna see how this amplifier handles these speakers and how these speakers will uh, the perform. Polk Audios, they advertise after four 40,000 hertz to tweeters is very clean playing tweeters and the low is going to be around 30 hertz of course it's going to be a lot deeper bass than sony's watch my other videos when i compare them side by side uh, yeah the bass wise six and a half drivers i'm going to open next video it's going to be i'm going to open i'm going to show you internals how this built how the crossovers inside how the box is built uh, we open the sony also watch my other videos um, and you're going to see what the internals and i play the just a speaker itself so it's gonna be tons of video, right? So let's play some music. All right. That's the Polk Audio gives right away. I just did the video with the Sony, the same amplifier, and right away you can see even the same amplifier at the flat. You can see the difference, right? That's why you have to watch my videos why and where it's going your money. Polk Audio gives way nicer, nicer bass than Sony's. Unfortunately, Sony is one of the best selling speakers in the market. No one can sell. Even the, all the Polk Audio combined cannot sell the one single these speakers because a lot of YouTubers were panicking, crying, singing like a birds this is one of the best speaker this is one of the best speaker but yeah for the price you can get wrong with this sony you can watch my videos today we're going to talk about the pop so i really right as you can see you have tons of uh the controls you can separately control the bass treble flat and the classic all these presets you can control the next song previous song all the inputs also reads from the usb whatever the mp3 you're playing you stick on the back and it's gonna play the music nice and clean very smooth amplifier very quiet amplifier there is no absolutely pumping cracking noise with this amplifier and i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a lot of stuff today right so watch all right so you have a nice app layout it's amazing you can control on the top music next produce song inputs all that stuff if you have more inputs like other my uh the Aurelic amplifiers you're gonna see here arc input like HDMI input all that stuff here right so this is the best part this is you can run these tiny amplifier with the any speaker reason why this is the layout right so you guys can enjoy the background so what is good it's here so you can control the travel right clarity as you can see opens up a lot of clarity mids right you can open up the mids you can do the bass, right? You can do left and you can do left. Please use your headphones so you're gonna hear the big difference. I'm recording with this uh, nice microphone. I have uh, two more microphones on the back, so when I'm playing loud, you can guys still hear it. So this is the the best part. This is maximum volume, right? So you can control the volume, for example, 83%, 80-90%, depending what kind of uh, speakers you're running, you can control the volume, right? So you can put the limits. 
no matter how much you're gonna turn on that amp or the remote control limit is gonna hit and you're not gonna go over the, those limits right now as you have a crossover this is one of the best thing guys if you're running the multiple amplifiers like this or a lot smaller four inch speakers and this speaker for example the the sony's they play only like around 50 hertz like or 60 hertz right uh if you go lower it's gonna start cracking the the small tiny five inch drivers but this polk audio can run from the 30 hertz so you can adjust this so you're not gonna have any distortions right crossovers watch for example i'm gonna explain how this thing works um, you gotta turn on and watch see that it doesn't play more than this is 300 hertz that's a bad time Uh, the bass starts. Watch the crossover. I'm trying to give you like a most most detailed review, right? There's absolutely no bass, right? It's a lot of bass. You can do this. Now another key feature, it's right there. The last button I'm gonna show you. Deep bass, as you can see, a lot of bass. Gonna be a little, a little quick so watch so you have here all the clarity right i'm playing make it low so the clarity you adjust here okay you like the speaker or you don't like how's the clear how's the all that stuff right you're gonna go to equalizer page right on the equalizer page you can create your own custom equalizer you see that add custom and you're gonna name it also so create the custom equalizer you add in here all these you know tones right or you can select from this presets and the very good stuff even you select it from the presets right even you create the custom here for example uh i create this right C custom equalizer all right so you adjust the equalizer here the crazy equalizer right you adjust it and when you're playing you don't like it right the sound still you can adjust this part <laughs> that's crazy right so you can adjust equalizer to adjust another equalizer so that's it's gonna give you any possible range even you have a garbage speaker yeah when you have a garbage garbage speaker you're not gonna get good sound but even you get garbage speaker you can play around then for example, this one, I did another video, right? With the, I have AMA version. This is 200 watt tube amp amplifier. This is a tiny monster. It's gonna play a lot of loud, loud bass, but you have only the bass knob and treble knob, the clarity and bass, that's it. Only two things you're gonna adjust in this. On this one, you're gonna adjust, and I really, right? You're gonna adjust million, million steps the way you want it. Okay, let's play some music. Always think of you as like it's something in the air at that time Don't cry, always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time But you wanna fight, babe Halfway out at the door of the club Playing so long the weekends Staying in bed till Wednesday Feeling so with you right there and then I'm strong, cause it's 
right, you guys enjoying, right? Make sure you guys using the headphones, right? It's gonna give you a lot different output than watching your uh, the laptop speakers or your phone speakers, right? So Polk Audios compared with this, the Sony's hundred dollars more exactly right now, hundred thirty dollars, two hundred thirty dollars, right? The Polk Audios, Polk Audios sales and Amazon itself like hundred twenty units per month. This guy sells at three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> 3,000 units per month, right? It's including all the Polk Audio models that this outsells because that price they're offering like crazy, right? And the three ways, 50,000 hertz, the Polk Audio plays at 40,000 hertz. The maximum you can hear is at 20,000 hertz if you're a raccoon or, you know, some kind of you know, cat family. So the people can hear only the 60,000 hertz up. You're not going to hear it. You're going to feel it. But these tweeters cannot produce power, so you can feel it. So only these guys can produce. You see this? Right, right there? That, you're going to feel it, the difference. So that's the other video, right? You're going to watch it. So the bass-wise, Polk Audio is a lot deeper way bass. It's made for a lot bigger the room. Uh, if you have a smaller room or using any a sound bar and you update your sound bar, any, the Bose, you tell me any sound bar without the uh, subwoofers, right? You update for Sony's, you're going to get a lot nicer uh, the sound. You're going to be surprising how these Sony's are. And you're gonna be like another guy, wow, the Sony is like high res playing the speaker, blah, blah, blah. Polk Audio is a next step, bigger box, better box, bigger drivers. That's why you're gonna have a lot bass. And the tweeters are also surprisingly, the lower tweeters, one inch tweeters are both the same, but the Sony has a surprisingly, I opened the inside, three quarter tweeters also like is allowed right on this one. The la la tweeter, when you're playing low, you don't hear it when you open up you can hear the upper tweeters like actually it's making some noise but the polk audio is covers everything with that without you know third tweeter so yeah this is my review guys uh i, I speak a lot about the speakers uh, the amplifiers offering the functionalities all the apps uh, the remote control and things can do is that one of the best most functional amplifier in the market uh not the loudest i have a tons of uh, amount of amplifier i'm testing right now you can find a lot louder amplifier uh, than Avrilic, but Avrilic is going to give you best technology for your money. There is amplifiers, best amplifier, best loudest amplifier for the money, but Avrilic is the best technology on the amplifier. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, guys, definitely subscribe and watch my other videos. Please click the subscribe button. It's going to help me a lot to grow this microscopic channel. And I'm going to keep testing. So let me connect the different, uh, different units and I'm going to create more content. I'm out. I'll see you in the next video, guys.